It's Militon. G'day, welcome back to Jez Beer Reviews. Good to see ya. Now, today is a beer from Swillingrog. It's Miller High Life. The famous Miller High Life. It is a uh, beautiful bottle. I've got to give it its classic Americana in a bottle. Just look at that. Now, this is the pasteurized version of Miller Genuine Draft. Miller Genuine Draft we've been able to get in Australia for quite some time. Uh, it's it's actually brewed under license these days in Australia by a few different fellas had a go of it. So I've drank a lot of Miller Genuine Draft in my time, being honest. Um, so yeah, the Richard Ditch version of the High Life from the States. This would be 4.6% ABV and this is a 355ml uh, clear glass bottle. The champagne of beers. So this is uh, one I've always wanted to try. Uh, pretty sure it's in Anchorman. They drink it. It uh, escalated very quickly. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Right, uh, let's pour it out into this. Yeah. Oh, let's get aggressive, not much head. Right, eh? It would have been nice drinking out of the bottle, to be honest, but uh, yeah, I'll put it in the glass. Yeah, that'll be a keeper. That'll go off me cause stubby bottle. That, uh, that Swillingrog also sent me. Right, eh? So we've got the old famous, you know, light golden appearance. Nothing on straw appearance. Golden to straw. We've got one, well, I've got one for your head, and it's pretty, very white. Now, this is an adjunct, American adjunct lager, so they use. Um, Corn as their adjunct, so to smell. Yeah, it's got a bit of a musty smell to it. Um, it just smells like American adjunct lager, but uh, thankfully I know it tastes all right. All right, best time of the review. So big cheese is all, and of course, big cheese is swilling grog. It's a very Clean, pretty crisp uh, American adjunct lager, to be honest. Uh, giving it a light, um, very light, it's a light uh, toast and malt flavour in the beer, of course. Corn really lightens up the body as well. Yeah, it's got somewhat a, a drawing in the back end, finish is pretty snappy. Um, it's pretty clean, uh, and uh, it is still winter here, but uh, very suited to our summer months. Is it better than Miller Junior Draft? I'm not sure. Same beer, just uh, pump once pasteurized, once um, cold filtered. So, well, okay. So, 4.6%, super sessionable. Easy drinking, light, like I said, pretty crisp, pretty snappy, finishes dry, like this session will be here, that's what it's made for, uh, pretty low on flavour. Uh, if they did sell it here in Australia, it would sell pretty good. Uh, but that's never going to happen because they've got Miller Junior Draft here and it's brewed on license and yada yada yada. I don't know where Swilling Girl got this from, I think he possibly bought it online, so he's paid a lot of money for this for the price point, it'd be really expensive. Uh, I would recommend if you do like American Agile Lagers, this is definitely one to have on your bucket list to try. Uh, it's one of the original ones, so um, good drinkability, easy drinking, beautiful bottle. Uh, the Miller, Gen uh, Miller High Life, sorry, I'll give this a score. I'd say it's an excellent, for the style, it's an excellent interpretation and um, pretty much is a benchmark for me. A lot of these beers can't uh, go wrong. If you're an American Agile Lager, you can't really go wrong for Miller. High life or a genuine draft, evil one. Once again, thanks to Swillingrog for sending me this beer. Uh, it's definitely one to say that I've had now, and uh, the bottle's going to be great for the collection. So uh, you guys all take care, and until next time, see you later.